Okay, hopefully people can hear me now. I have no idea why my uh, audio isn't working, so I apologize for that. Um, I will get that figured out at some point. I assume everyone is able to hear me now. I'm going to look at chat to see if anyone is telling me yes or no. There we go. Okay. Uh, I don't know why that one scene wasn't using my audio. Who knows? Okay, so I'll just go over what I was just about to talk about. Um, I might be having a bad internet connection as well as some other live stream hiccups here. Uh, AT&T is, as always, providing me the worst possible internet service, and unfortunately it's the only thing in the area I live in. Um, I have not played this game yet, Kingdom Come Deliverance. I have kept myself uh, pretty much out of the loop on videos, reviews, everything else, so this is my fresh take on it. It'll be my first impression. I did uh, start up the game just for the purposes of making sure it ran. Uh, and getting CryEngine uh, settings dialed in because CryEngine can do a lot of things that I think modern video cards can't. Um, and so that's one of those things where I wanted to just make sure it was all set up. Uh, I'm not really running it, I think it's 60 frames, although I wish I could. I'm running it just shy of that, which is okay for the stream. Um, so the graphics aren't all the way up because I, I can't get them all the way up without hitting a pretty uh, abysmal frame rate. Um, I have had some issues just in doing some of the uh, video card or just the uh, the video settings uh, for the game, and uh, I'm a little bit worried it's a little bit glitchy, but we will see. I'm going to go ahead and launch the game here. Uh, there's a little intro, and I'll let it play through so you guys can see it, and we'll dive into the game. I really don't know what to expect. I, I'm looking for the game to be um, not just historically accurate, because that's great, but it needs to be a fun game. Uh, the RPG elements need to be enjoyable. We will see what happens here. As a reminder, as we are getting into this game, uh, as always, you can hit those uh, those funded ads, the super chats. I will make sure I always read off whatever the super chat is if you use one. Charles IV, King of Bohemia and Holy Roman Emperor, had a long and successful reign. The empire he ruled from Prague expanded, and his subjects lived in peace and prosperity. When the emperor died, the whole empire mourned. More than 7,000 people accompanied him on his last procession. The heir to the throne of the flourishing empire was Charles' son, Wenceslas IV, whose father had prepared him for this moment all his life. But Wenceslas did not take after his father. He neglected affairs of state for more frivolous pursuits. He even failed to turn up for his own coronation as emperor which did little to endear him to the Pope. Wenceslas the Idol did not impress the imperial nobility either. His difficulties mounted until the nobles, exasperated by the inaction of their ruler, turned for help to his half-brother, King Sigismund of Hungary. Sigismund decided on a radical solution. He kidnapped the king to force him to abdicate, then took advantage of the ensuing disorder to gain greater power for himself. He invaded Bohemia with a massive army and began pillaging the territories of the king's allies. It is here that my story begins. Chat, how is the game audio? Is it at a good level?
So they've done a good job setting up the uh, kind of the, the backdrop for this, which is good. This is certainly a part of medieval history I know very little about, so it's kind of fun. husband how goes it good i should get it finished today where on earth is henry i need him to run some errands he was still sleeping when i went out at this hour blue-blooded idler well it looks like he was out all evening drinking like a lord <laughs> go and get the lazy bones up then Quick clout round the ear should do it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Henry, get up now. There's work to be done. <sighs> get up, or I'll come get you up. Hear that? You'd better not vex him. Now get up quick. Your breakfast is on the table. Wait, what's this? Have you been... Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You'd better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. Oh, don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself, is all. Hmm. Well, just don't come crying to me if you really do get hurt. Now get up, you rogue. So the intro of the game has gotten a good start here. Um, it's got fairly decent voice acting, and graphics look good, and music a sounds good. A state you're in this morning. What on earth did you get up to last night? Which is a surprising thing to come from a from a Kickstarter project, honestly. So we'll see how good that holds out. I was with Bianca. We were, um, talking? Talking, were you? That's what you call it, is it? Stop it, Ma. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand. 
and that suspicious looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. So I'm learning to sword fight, and what of it? What harm does it do? At least I'll be able to defend myself. God above, Hal. You know how your father will react when he finds out. How? What's he going to do? I'm doing nothing wrong. I just wanted to try it. On your own head be it, then. I can't stop you, and you can deal with your father on your own. Don't come looking to me for help. Did Matthew and Fritz come looking for me? No, I haven't seen them this morning. They shouldn't be hard to find. They'll be hanging around a tavern somewhere, as usual. That's unfair. Really? So where were you until the small hours last night? <coughs> I was... with Bianca, of course. You mean at Bianca's tavern? And who was there with you? No, don't tell me. Let me guess. Matthew and Fritz. Well, at least you were with Bianca. You should hold on to that one, Hal. She's a clever girl. And invite her for supper sometime. Your father's very fond of her. Yeah, of course he is. He thinks he'll be able to wheedle the secret of beer brewing out of her. <laughs> You're right there. You'd think he was planning to become a brewer in his dotage. Still, that's your father for you. At least he's interested in something, unlike you lot. You're too busy getting into mischief to do an honest day's work. If Fritz and Matthew carry on this way, they'll wind up swinging one day. You mark my words. Can I get something to eat? I left some breakfast on the table. Help yourself. So one of the things that I will note about most Kickstarter games is that um, you know there's always a lot of passion that goes into the games, but whether or not they can actually execute on said passion is sometimes a, a hit or miss thing. Uh, I certainly hope that they are able to. All right, let's see here. I picked up all the food. Why am I not eating it? Some frame skipping here, which is a little bit unfortunate. I might need to play with the graphical settings if it continues. Yeah. Give me just a moment while I play with the settings here a bit. Let's drop some of this down. This is the thing I don't like about doing the graphical settings, is it then has this long loading time when you make changes. That's why I wanted to do it ahead of time. This game should be played in German, and when it comes out, check voice is over. I think you can set it to a lot of different dialogue options, but I'm not certain about that. Um, but since I don't really speak those other things, and while I'm sure the voice acting is fine, I'm okay with it being in English. But as I was saying, Kickstarter games, uh, I've done a few Kickstarters for various things, and especially for video games, a lot of times the end result isn't always exactly what people expect. Um, you know, I know that past the Kickstarter on which Warhorse made quite a lot of money, uh, they got also some um, investors. Uh, so they actually had more, more money towards this development than just Kickstarter uh, proper, and uh, that went a lot towards developing a lot of the feature sets, uh, getting good voice actors, all that 
all that stuff. Which means there's good polish to the game. Uh, generally speaking, everything looks nice. Um, hopefully it plays nice. That would be the, the hope here. Um, you know, I don't, I will not judge this game based purely on the fact that it's being historically accurate. That's a great backdrop. It's a great, uh, you can almost call it a gimmick, uh, but it's a great concept, but it still needs to be a good game. Uh, and that's very important. We'll, we'll see how that works out here over the next couple hours as we play it. All right, here we go. Last time I did a graphical settings update as well, it killed the game and I had to restart it. So hopefully that's not what's about to happen here. All right, let's see here. All right, that doesn't seem to be too bad. Come here, I need your help. Seems odd that I have to load again. I'll note that I'll probably be fairly silent during this stream just because I'm thinking about things and I'm trying to actually play the game. It's a lot harder to do streams solo At like this. Up. That's a start. So anyway, we have a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. With what? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer, and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Kunesh? That drunkard? <laughs> that'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his arse. Sure will be happy to hear it. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sasso. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Right, so make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now, work won't wait. My house is right under the castle, isn't it? Another loading screen. Got me with you. I'm with you, Henry. How are you? Father sent me. We're forging a sword for Sir Radzik, and the Chamberlain has the cross guard and grip. Father had them engraved in Sassau. Right. They're here. The Chamberlain gave them to us for you. We looked them over. Beautiful work. I've never seen anything so fine. I can't wait to see the sword. Just make sure you don't botch it. When did I ever botch anything? <sighs> Where shall I start? Ah, shut up and give me what I want, or I'll kick your ass this evening. Right away, your lordship. Magnificent! Shame I can't keep the sword for myself. Well, I better go if we're to get the job done by this evening. Godspeed. See you later in the tavern. You certainly will. After today's work, the ale might even be on me. Uh, I was just asked if this is my first time playing through. Yes, I have not started this game past... Um, apparently I'm sneaking. Uh, I've not played this game past an initial load-up to get the graphics going, so this is my first time playing any of it. Uh, so let's see, quest log. 
do I get to my quest log? Ah, uh, primary tab. Oh, I know what I'm doing. I'm gonna go get nails. So, on my radar, they have, um... A tracker, it looks like, for the different quests. How did I even do that? Codex Enter, there we go. So my quest log. Uh, sword fighting lesson. I need to go get the debt, which is C first, C then A. Because there's not really a run button, I'm just kind of running. I'll be with you, Kunesh. What do you want? My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer, and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. You know you owe father for a lot more than just the axe and hammer. If he went to the bailiff about it, you'd be in deep water. At least pay for the tools if you can't pay for everything. I told you I have no coin, you bastard! Get the hell out of here, or I'll use the axe on you! Okay, so it looks like uh, my persuasion is only partially based on speech. It's also based on how I'm dressed, whether or not I look dangerous, uh, whether or not it has to do with money, um, all these other things. So, I'm reading this stuff so I understand how it works. Look, I know things aren't easy. The wife ran off, booze is dear these days, and you're as much use as a square wheel. It's no wonder you're short of coin. But a debt's a debt, and I can't leave here without something. You son of a whore! How dare you speak to me like that? Didn't your thieving father teach you any manners? No? Well, I'll teach you then. I guess I'm about to fight here. Wonderful. Jab, slash, kick. Click down right to walk on. Walk. Nope. Come here. This combat is not entirely well clear. Bloody hell. Oh. Uh. Uh. My goodness. Kurva. Not really sure how the block is supposed to work. Oh, there we go. It just takes a while to kick in. You'll get what. God. Ah! 
I'll wipe my ass with you. Oh. Somehow he's grabbing me, and I'm not really sure how that works. Maybe I should have read that other screen a little bit more. And the distance and timing here is really not clear. This is the world's longest fight. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong here. Way off. Quite the long fight. <laughs> I'd go read that screen again. Enough! Enough! I give up. Take what you want. It's not much, but it's all I have. You understand? supposed to find something worth selling and he literally has nothing. That's not what I was trying to do. At least I can eat something. missing here. <laughs> Strange. You're supposed to find something worth selling. missing here. Okay. 
Okay, so the next thing I need to do is go buy charcoal the market, which is A. I kind of feel like even though my character is running, I'm very, very slow. It needs to be a sprint. something like over their head. <laughs> Chat says there's an axe. I should go get the axe. Where is the sax? Am I even at the right house anymore? <laughs> ah, I forgot where I was. This is house, right? Ah, the sax. Wonderful. That makes more sense. So I took his hammer and nails, but really I was just supposed to take the axe. Oh, no, 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 don't rob. Talk. <laughs> Boy, that can get you in trouble. Alright, so I'm going to offer that. going to sell <clears throat> Hang on. It's a total of 0.5 for 10 I wish I didn't have to sell that axe but looks like that's that's the way it's gonna have to be. Unless I haggle. I'd like to discuss the price. Why not? sell slightly less what do you say to this that's better drop in a bit more and we'll call it a deal finally a reasonable sum yeah you're right I'm all bloodied up and whatnot how do I clean myself up it's a good question okay now I can't go learn to fight, but I'm going to go ahead and finish out uh, this thing, so I'm going to go buy Ale at E and then I'll run back home. Hail to the hero. Oh, discovered the tailor. You can't be serious, Dutch. Insulting our king. What insult? I say only the truth. Sigismund has done only what he had to. Had to. He had to abduct the king. He had to lure his cousin Prokop into a trap and imprison him. He had to invade with his army of Tatars and besiege Kutenberg. Why not? What is this Wenceslas for a king? The empire is falling asunder in his hands. The German counts elected Ruprecht of the Palatinate as king because your Wenceslas would not go to their deeds even. German counts, traitors. 
Now even the Pope God be with you, Henry. I'm with you, Matthew. What's going on here? Deutsch is spouting shit. What? Just listen and you'll hear for yourself. Someone has to bring order and reunite the Empire. <laughs> what do I care about the Austrians? And nowadays, not even the devil himself can keep up with all the popes. Which is the rightful pope? The one in Rome or the one in Avignon? Do not blaspheme, Alex. No, it's true, though. Wenceslas is the king of Bohemia. Bohemian nobles are on his side. To hell with Rosenberg and his cabal. Sir Ratzik is Wenceslas' commander-in-chief. He stayed loyal to the king. And if he heard you talking like this, he would have you whipped like a dog. Your deal will soon have nothing left to rule. Jobs had to sell Luxembourg to help your king. South Bohemia is with Sigismund and... don't forget about Gutenberg, where Germans like you kissed Sigismund's feet to keep their heads. Yes, but... Goodman Deutsch, this is pointless. Let us talk of more pleasant things. My words, exactly. Deutsch has gone too far. Wenceslas is our rightful king. Deutsch is an idiot. But what can you do? I might have an idea. <laughs> Deutsch deserves to be taught a lesson. Doesn't he, Fritz? You're too old, right, Matthew. You should give him a proper hiding. Are you mad? Do you want to end up in the pillory? Don't listen to Fritz. I've got a better idea. Deutsch was talking such shit, it made me think of that huge pile of manure. You know, the one right next to his freshly whitewashed house. You think we should redecorate for him? Count me in. Well, I'd rather touch it, to be honest. But, those are terrible, Dave. What do you say, Henry? But I was going to get ale for a father and a, a few other things. We're finishing Sir Radzik's sword. Come on. Doing a few handfuls of manure is not going to take all day. And it's our duty to defend the honor of our king. So... How? Are you with us? What do you say, chat? What, what should I do here? What's your vote? See what chat says here before I choose. Do it. Oh, it looks like everyone wants oh, me to well. do it. Father can wait a while. <laughs> My words exactly. I knew you wouldn't miss out on all the fun. Let's go. Oh, now everyone says no. <laughs> I'm sure this is going to result in me going to jail or something. I'm pretty sure it's what's going to happen here. So are we doing this or not? Wait. We have to check that the coast is clear. Why? Deutsch is in the tavern. But maybe you noticed after all these years that he has a wife and a son. And that's a problem? Aye, it is. Henry, you go and lure her away somehow. Why me? <laughs> because you're the clever one. Yeah. What do you want, lad? I just went by the tavern and your husband was in there talking nonsense. I thought someone should take him home before he gets himself in trouble. What sort of nonsense? Well, uh, 
Well, he kept saying that Sigismund was right and King Wenceslas is a drunkard, that sort of thing. Some people took exception, so I thought... God almighty, the fool. Next thing he'll start on about the popes. He might have mentioned the popes too. Thank you for telling me. I just hope I can catch him before he gets into another fight. This is the only side quest I'm going to do because I want to get into uh, into actually doing some of the actual gameplay, doing some sword fighting uh, and main plot line instead of just side quests. So you guys voted for this one. What do you, I want you to know soldier? that? Fire the trebuchet for king and country. For king and country, my ass. This is all good, clean, fun. <laughs> Nearly as good as having that traitor in the pillory. Nearly. Now that would be sweet. <laughs> That's for Sigismund! Woohoo! Eat shit, Doshus! You bastards! What the fuck do you think you're doing? <laughs> hey, Hans, can't you see? We're decorating your house for you. It's like your old man was saying in a tavern about that traitor Sigismund. We're just doing what we have to do. Oh, sons! I'll make those smites off your faces! Oh, I'd like to see you try. What are you doing here, Zbizek? Hanging out with this poxy Deutscher? Maybe you'd like to try out the latest German fashion? <laughs> <laughs> so there may be another fight, guys. I'll make you pay for that. Getting in too many fights here. Time to go hit up the tavern. Henry, I'm glad you stopped by. What do you think you're playing at? Are you trying to get yourselves in trouble? How'd I get caught? Apparently. The Deutsch was insulting King Wenceslas. He got what he deserved. So that's why. Deutsch isn't a bad fellow, but he should drop this nonsense about Sigismund before someone torches his house. So you don't mind that we... Don't gape like a stuffed squirrel. Do you take me for a German lover? I serve my lord, and my lord serves the king, and that's Wenceslas. Here you but what are. to do with you now? Good help. The Deutsch will make trouble if I let you off. So I won't go to jail? Ha! Who paid for your grub? You know what? The Deutsch got what he deserved. I'll go and have a word with your father, and we'll straighten it out somehow. Now clear off before I change my mind. Damn. My pleasure. <clears throat> uh, see, okay, Santosh says lovely. he's here from watching You're the sword well unboxing. Today. Thanks for joining the stream. <laughs> you too, handsome. What brings you here? Your beauty, of course. <laughs> oh, noble sir. 
I'm as honored as any single maid can be. And apart from my beauty, what else might your worship desire? I need ale for father. A pitcher as usual? Aye. Bring me a cool one from the cellar. <laughs> but of course. Here you are. Thanks. It's on me today. <laughs> you can pay me back this evening. Out of the question. Here you go. And this evening I'll have something more for you. <laughs> I can't wait. Thanks. You'll have something to look forward to this evening. <laughs> you too. Oh, um, by the way, that shifty looking fellow was asking after you. Vanya. I suppose. He is a man who makes his coin robbing honest wayfarers. I'm sure of it. I'll be happy when he's gone for good. But what in heaven's name are you up to with him? He promised to teach me how to use a sword. What use would that be to you? Enough. You sound just like father. I'll be going now. See you this evening. Hal, I've got something special for you. Is that so? Now what would that be? Your favorite, savior your schnapps. Really? You're an angel. <laughs> I hope you'll thank me properly later. You bet I will. Yeah, this is one thing that I did hear about the game is that the save mechanic was um, usually when you sleep at the end of a day, and that you only have a few times outside that where you can save. But before I go sword fighting, I'm going to go finish this sword building quest. Graphics are still a little bit choppy here and there. I'm wondering if it's just because I'm streaming or not. I don't really know. It's not very consistent though, so it's kind of hard to track down what's going on. About time. Have you got everything I wanted? What do I not have? Not yet. I'm working on it. And how much longer will it take? Get a move on. We have to finish that sword today. Or do you want me to look a fool in front of Sir Radzik? No, I don't. I'll be back soon. Uh, thought I had everything I needed for the quest. I guess I'm going to do the sword fighting lesson first, so be it. Imagine this nice cool ale is going to get warm. <laughs> All right. Oof. He's gone. Fucking Dutch. That was close. <sighs> I almost got caught for that damn Dutch. I went to the wrong spot. I'm supposed to be going to E. Alright, well that finished out that optional quest anyway.
Have you recovered from yesterday's great wound? No, it was nothing. Except mother noticed and had a word or two to say about it. No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. The question is, what do you want? I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live and see the world. But the world's a dangerous place and I need to know how to protect myself. Spoken like a man. And as it happens, today's your last chance. I have to leave. So, are you ready to get stuck in? Yes. All right, I wait on the ground by the sheepfold as usual. This guy for no reason. I find it odd that they don't let me finish one quest line until I do this. I should have maybe set that up a little better. I like his sword a lot. So, can we get started? We can. Good. And since today is the last time we'll be seeing each other, you can show me everything I've taught you so far. Alright. So I need to read this very carefully, because when I didn't read how to do all the boxing, I definitely wasn't where I needed very to be. Very well. Let's start with the basics. Keep moving. Your life depends on it. So I can change my stance. All right, all right. Mock. Now try to hit me. You have to put your weight into your attack. If you just fiddle around, you'll get nowhere. Try slashing from different sides. Unpredictability is the key. Never repeat yourself. <laughs> nice. Good. Now you're getting it. The point of the blade is for stabbing. Try it a few times. Good, good. Let's try something else. One strike, I can fend off without sweat. But if you chain your strikes, I'll have a much harder time. As soon as you land one blow, Follow it with another. about you, but I'm tired and thirsty. Remember though, train hard. No one becomes a master swordsman overnight. You have to work and work. And the main thing is to use what you've learned in real combat. There's nothing better than experience, believe me. Alright, so that combat actually feels a little bit like uh, slightly more complicated version of what they did for For Honor, where you basically are just lining up shots on different sides. Kind of like a mix of For Honor and something like Chivalry or Mordhau. Uh, I did the, the sword combat back in the alpha for this game, and 
it wasn't without its issues. That seemed a little bit easier to do, and maybe the explanation was a little bit better um, for how to do it. So, finish out this quest line. About time. Have you got everything I wanted? I have charcoal, the hilt, and the ale. We can start. Good job. Let's have it then, son. Where have you been with that ale? It's as flat and warm as horse piss. Go back and get me another, and you can pay for it yourself. That's the price of stupidity. Yeah. If I had known... Yeah, the, the game forcing me to do one thing over another, it's not exactly helpful. But I guess I should complete quests in the order they are given. in and I haven't really even started the game yet Look really at the state you're in I'm back I can see that what's the matter I need another pitcher of ale the last one wasn't cold enough for father you want me to get it for you I right. and a smile from you <laughs> Thanks. It's on me today. <laughs> you can pay me back this evening. Out of the question. Here you go. And this evening I'll have something more for you. <laughs> I can't wait. All right. I'm interested to see where this game goes in terms of, uh, not really just so much storyline, but in gameplay. You know, a lot of what they showed in a lot of the trailers and promotional material way back when were, you know, large-scale battles and, um, complex armor systems and fighting systems, so I'm really, really excited to see a lot of that. I think I'll, I think this is the forging minigame I'm about to get into. Yeah, about time. Have you got everything I wanted? I have charcoal, the hilt, and the ale. We can start. Good job. Let's have it then, son. Well done. Right. Let's see what kind of job the master in Sasal did for us. Look at that lad. Well, that's what I call craftsmanship. What does the inscription mean? Damned if I know. Doesn't look like Czech to me. Latin, maybe? Lord Radzig ordered it. Oh, this will be the finest sword I've ever made. Have we got the charcoal? Good. And fire up the forge. We'll put it all together. By the way, someone paid me a call. I reckon you might know what it was about. I'm not sure. Really? Because I'm pretty sure you and your friends threw dung at Deutsch's freshly whitewashed house. He was here with the catchpole earlier, and it was not a friendly visit. What got into you, Hal? That Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the King. He got what he deserved. Got what he deserved, did he? 
You can go and clean up the mess you made and apologize to him. I have a trade to run. The German pays well. And having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody, least of all the king. You understand? Yes. Look me in the eye, Henry. Do you understand? I understand. Good. And we'll never have this conversation again. So you think it's right to let traitors speak ill of our king? The boy gets caught making a fool of himself, and he still hasn't learned his lesson. So Deutsch spouts rubbish and war. You turn into a common thug. You might win a fight with violence, but you'll never win an argument. Remember, Henry, if you want to convince someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth and not your fists. Furnace is ready. Right, we'll do the grip. I'll heat it up, and when I take it out, you slip the grip on so it fits exactly. You know what you're doing. <clears throat> do it. Good. Once more. That's it. Done. Now file it down so it sits well in the hand. I'll prepare the guard. Father, why did you leave Prague? Who ever heard of a master swordsmith making horseshoes in a village? <laughs> I had my reasons, Hal. And here I have your mother and you. Why would I want any other life? Do you remember Emperor Charles? I do. Life was good under his reign. Better than now. He built half of Prague and a score of castles. Had a bridge made over the Moldau, and founded a university. And all without a war. He knew how to rule. Better than Wenceslas. Better by far. But Wenceslas doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of someone whose like is born only once a thousand years. What about Sigismund? Do you think Charles would have brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? No. Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, but Sigismund, he brings shame to the royal name. How's it going? Give it here, and we'll put it all together. My father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. Henry, are you all right? <laughs> so the cutscenes in this game, like the actual dialogue and uh, the interactions between characters is almost the best part of it so far. Uh, I feel like they've done that really well. I can use these bandages. 
I'll have to learn how to use first aid. All right. That will do. Go and get those damn nails. Here are those nails you wanted. Thanks. So, how's Bianca? Um, she's fine. That will do. Why do you ask? Get those dumb Just nails. wondering, will you be going to the dance this evening? We will. Maybe we'll see each other there. Anyway, mustn't keep you. I'll be on my way. That sword is truly beautiful. Fine lass, eh? Now stop staring at her and come and see this. It's time for the trial by fire. <laughs> we did a fine job. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsmith. Well, those days are gone, sir. Hmm. But you haven't lost your skills, though. Would you like to try it? Sir, what good is a sword to a commoner? try it. You still have a lot to learn. Ask your father to show you how. He knows what he's about. Learning his trade will serve him better in life, sir. Perhaps. But who knows what the future holds for each of us. I see that you almost have it finished. If it just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work, very fine. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Svan? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. How odd to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but duty calls and I must leave. Here you are. Learn from your father. He truly is a master of his craft. I'm sure our paths will cross again. They certainly will. Once it's ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. Sure. It's been an honor, says Van. Have a safe journey to Sasso. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank you for the hospitality. A long, peculiar history. <laughs> that was a long time ago. I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. Will you teach me how to use it, like Sir Radzik said? Why? Well, it could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green in the forge. You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword, and then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. You talk as if you've seen it happen. A man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. I want to end my days in scallets, here beneath the linden tree and by your mother's side. Well, so do I, one day. But first, I'd like to see the world, meet new people. Meet them or beat them? Meet. You have to keep going on about it. <laughs> then you've no need to learn swordplay. A messenger. He was in a hurry. What's happened?
Listen to me, Al. Listen carefully. Take the sword, go into the house, and grab anything else important from the trunk. Go to the castle. Hurry. And what about you? Your mother is in the village. I'll fetch her and we'll follow right behind. I'll go with you. No. You'll do what I say right now. Give the sword to Sir Isaac. If anything happens, he'll take care of you. He owes me. Well, that did a good job of setting up character motivation. Missing here. So hang on, hang on, hang on. Melee weapons, I have to press to the side here. My goodness. Yeah. 
So, it would be nice for the game to tell me things like how to actually use the weapon. Everyone's saying press 1. I'm using a controller, guys. I'm not using a keyboard and mouse. So... I view that as a failure in the game to actually properly inform me about what my controls are. If I'm supposed to... What's going on? Where am I? Okay. I don't even know where that guy came from. Okay, just like that, he comes out of nowhere. run away okay well what's what's killing me about this fight is I just looked around me he wasn't there and then he's suddenly behind me hitting me that's kind of like unexpected but I will run away this time I don't know why they keep loading me facing up like that What's the sprint button? Because I've been trying to figure that out. Oh, it's B. Okay. That's also helpful. <sighs> and that help screen that just popped up was immediately canceled out of. Oh my goodness. Uh, is the screen la is the stream lagging or the game? It's actually probably a bit of both. So there was a help screen that just popped up, but I was holding sprint, so it immediately canceled out of it. Sorry guys, I am sucking at this part of the game for some reason. There we go, I'm facing the right direction this time. gonna run down the cliff side that seems to be faster
Ricky, hogy ne vergődjön! Papicsába, mi ez? Írjátok ki a fattyút! Még sajnálni fogod, hogy megjelentél itt. Kicsit várnod kell, galambocskám, amíg elintézzük ezt a féleszűt. game is definitely lagging now for some reason. Alright. I'm not really sure I understand what the double B thing is supposed to mean for making the horse gallop. Because that does not work at all. Does anybody know out of, out of the chat what how you're supposed to make the horse actually gallop? Because pressing B is supposed to make gallop, but it doesn't do it very long. Holding it makes it run kind of at a canter. But they showed it as two Bs. I'm not really sure what that means. Oh, I'm back to this, am I? Alright, so. Controls. Let's see if there's a little bit more clarity here. Nope, not there. Alright, hopefully I'll do better this time. It's kind of got like a, uh, a deep end learning curve that it just threw at me here. So I'm getting hit by arrows, I'm on a horse, I don't really know how to dodge it. Uh, if people are asking, I'm on a PC right now. default. Hold direction plus B. Hold direction plus BB. Yeah, I don't know. It seems to suggest that uh, I tap B, but I don't really know.
Okay, double click and hold it after the second. That's what I'm doing right now, but it doesn't seem to be draining the stamina meter, so I'm not really sure if I'm doing it right. Alright, we saw this already, so I'll skip it. That's helpful. We'll see. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Anybody know? Because I'm just getting shot by arrows the entire time and I'm going as fast as the horse will allow me to go. I feel like I'm missing something very obvious. I'm supposed to look back and try to dodge the arrows. So here's part of the challenge of this, is that I'm supposed to hold down B to gallop, but my right thumbstick is what I look back with. It's kind of hard to do both with my right hand and the controller. Seems like this is one of those things where mouse and keyboard would be much, much better. I'm going to move over to keyboard and mouse here for a moment. Let's see if this is slightly better.
shift. So double tap shift, double tap it, and hold it. I'm going to assume is what I'm supposed to do. Okay, horse. All right, there we go. So on the controller, the horse would go on the road. Mouse and keyboard, it doesn't. Apparently. <laughs> this is really strange. Alright, here we go. At least I get the gallop working, so let's see if we can't get this doing what it needs to do. Okay, if the horse is galloping, it will not follow the roads. This now. Left. Almo gets to the left along the stream. My goodness. At least I got the horse to gallop. So, the controls seem to be, as long as I'm holding forward, and I double tap, that will go into gallop, but it won't follow the road. Fair enough. It will follow the road if I'm in a canter, but I can't hold Please. forward when I do that. Run for it. So in this moment, I'm just having to run. They're still right behind me, so... Yeah, it was not real clear how the horse riding was supposed to work with the controller at all. Quickly, everyone! Get your asses here! Hey! Hey! 
Radio Husum Gimmel! Someone give him a drink, and bring hot wine and bandages. Tell me, boy, who are you, and where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground, slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning, and, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tartars? Tartars, you say? Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. I, I don't know. Grit your teeth, boy. I'm going to pull that arrow out. Easy. All done. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. It only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? There you go. Good as new. Thank you. If you idlers nothing better to do, get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Divish. Can you manage? Sir, this is a survivor from... I heard, Robart. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Did you see the insigns of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? Sir, um, I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a, a strange language. They burned Scalitz to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Scalus is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robart. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. You think we're next in line? Maybe. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir.
hopefully that is a save point. Once this loads, I will know. Yes, that saved the game. All right, so um, that is my uh, first two hours of the game. Uh, I'll tell you my initial impressions on it are, um, I think they've done a good job getting like the graphics, the, the, the story, uh, the dialogue, all that works really well. The gameplay elements are a little bit hard, a little bit janky, especially in more frantic moments. Um, the controller does not work nearly as well for controlling the horse. All that said, um, the mouse and keyboard was also slightly problematic in that the horse just wanted to go everywhere. Um, maybe that's just me jumping back and forth between the two. Uh, I'm looking forward to playing more of this game and actually getting a chance to uh, to get better at it, I guess, more than anything, to actually have the controls feel a little bit more natural. Uh, someone in the chat here is saying you have to keep in mind that, that uh, you know the character himself is not supposed to be all that great at things like sword fighting. So as the RPG element, as he progresses better, so too will my ability to control the fights, all that, which is which is really cool. Um, I think I will probably play this a bit more in streams. I, I, I definitely don't want to get too far into the game because there's plenty of people who are going to want to play the game, might have watched up until this point, and might want to kind of do their own things past it. Um, I'll probably do it another couple of streams here and there. Uh, I, I'm definitely going to play more of the game. I don't know how I'm going to do that. I don't know if I'm just going to do a straight playthrough or not. I'll let people know. Um, but it is a really lovely day outside today. And that's the first time in about three weeks, which means I should get outside and do some cut tests so I can do some reviews I've been trying to do. Um, so that's actually one of the reasons I'm going to quit here at about the two hour mark. Um, but I think we got to a good point. Um, we got to a good point to actually quit, and uh, and while I may have been terrible at that last moment of the game, uh, I definitely think it's it's an interesting and fun game, not without its flaws, but I, I hope that as I play more of it, I'll get a better idea of what I think. So, uh, guys, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch the stream. Um, it's been interesting, and I'm looking forward to doing more. But in the meantime, have a lovely day, and I guess I'll see you guys in future streams and in future videos. Cheers, everyone.